Hi everyone, GD here. Glad you could join me today. Well, today I want to share with you folks something really special. How many of you rare coin collectors out there would love to own this one of a kind piece? This article was written, uh, was produced in In Store Magazine, written by Howard Cohn. And the title of it is Ultimate Coin with 462 Pink Diamonds Could Bring $697,000. It's a platinum coin from the Royal Canadian Mint. Now, folks, um, the largest gold coin, uh, a Guinness's world record, was produced by the Perth Mint, one ton. And prior to that, the Canadian um, Mint had produced five Canadian maple leaves that weigh 221 pounds apiece. One of the five, which was stolen in 2017 from Berlin's Bode Museum, but none of them have anything that can compare to something like this. This is a platinum coin, completely encrusted with very rare pink diamonds, and it's coming up for auction here in a couple of weeks. So let's just go over the article real quick here and see what we have. It says the Royal Canadian Mint is about to auction the ultimate, a one-of-a-kind, one-kilogram platinum coin embellished with 462 ultra-rare pink diamonds from the world-famous Argyle Diamond Mine. You know, I was fortunate enough during my career to have sold two pink diamonds before they became incredibly collectible, but now they are extremely rare. Um, it says the 470, uh, 462 pink diamonds weighing a total of 6.5 carats, and each diamond carries a color grade of fancy vivid or fancy intense, which is pretty impressive. The coin is crafted of 99.95% pure platinum with a proof finish. The kilogram coin is equivalent to 35.27 ounces or 2.2 pounds. Nothing compared to the one ton gold, but this is a pretty special piece for somebody who is going to be adding this to their collection. The rarity of the pink diamonds feature on the coin is amplified by the fact that Rio Tinto's Argyle Mine, which famously produced between 90 and 95 percent of the world's pink and red diamonds during its 37 years of production, officially ceased operations on November 3, 2020. During its long run, the mine in Western Australia produced more than 865 million carats of rough diamonds, but pink diamonds represented less than 1% of the total output. I remember um, for years, they would have a um, special allotment of these pink and red diamonds, <clears throat> and then they would have a private treaty auction uh, amongst the top dealers that were invited to bid on those auctions at the time. Extremely rare diamonds. Let's go on and see what else I have to say. Uh, the coin measures 101.6 millimeters. That's four inches in diameter. I guess that one's going to have to come with its own capsule because I don't think you're going to find one for it. <laughs> the ultimate features a reverse design by Canadian artist Derek C. Wicks that brings the beauty of the cherry blossom to life and blurs the line between coin and art jewelry. It is pretty spectacular when you look at it, folks. The pink diamonds add sparkle to the rose gold plated rim and the petals of more than two dozen flowers, including the central bloom, where the gem set blossoms form an exquisite clustered bouquet. The diamonds were painstakingly hand set by Canadian manufacturer Beverly Hills Jewelers. I think they have a little bit of a, <clears throat> yeah, it says he observed, but I think they mean the obverse, uh, features a cherry blossom field pattern and the effigy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II by Susanna Blunt. Housed in a luxury cabinet style case featuring a high, highly polished piano finish and silver hardware, the ultimate 
I think they mean to say coin here, uh, comes with a welcome letter from the Mint CEO along with a pair of gloves for safe handling. I would imagine for something that special and that valuable, they should give you a pair of gloves. The ultimate headlines, a new line of gold and platinum opulence coins that pay tribute to the legacy of Rio Tinto's Argyle mine. Treasure, grandeur, and splendor will also be offered in limited quantities. So you folks can get involved in this if you like platinum. Uh, they will have the 10 ounce 9995 platinum coin um, will have a face value of $1,250. I would imagine that's going to be pretty pricey. The two ounce, which is going to have a Canadian $350 price range, and the one ounce treasure, which will have a Canadian $200 price range with a mintage of just $400. The uh, 350 will just have uh, 30 minted, and the uh, $1,250 one will have five. I would imagine those are not coming with pink diamonds. But in any case, uh, pretty spectacular piece here, folks. And um, I believe the auction is, yeah, May 31st, and they're expecting it to bring 900,000 Canadian dollars or 697,300 American dollars. And I am sure that this one here, being a one of a kind, is going to sell for more than that with pink diamonds. Anyway, just wanted to share this pretty special piece with you folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And I sure do appreciate Howard Cohn for writing the article and posting it in In Store Magazine. Okay, folks, I hope you're all doing well today. This is GD saying stay safe out there and uh, get yourself ready for uh, this auction in a couple of weeks. I hope one of you wind up with it. Okay, until next time, this is GD saying have a great day.